Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 41 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start our chapter with mixture. So what is mixture? Mixture is something which is made from different substances that are not chemically joined. Please note, they should not be chemically joined. If you see the mixture, the moment mixture comes to your mind is the mixture which you eat, right? If you see a lot of things are there, the nuts is there, bujia is there, everything is there, they are not chemically joined, but they are just mixed. Or if you see, this is also one good example of mixture, uh, the, it's a lot of dried leaves and they are mixed together. A good example of a mixture is used as a manual. So in mixture you have something that are not chemically joined, this is critical here, they should not be chemically joined. If they are chemically joined, they are compound, for example, hydrogen, oxygen, they are chemically joined to form water. So in mixture, the catch is, it is not chemically joined. For example, if you see, we can have different kind of stones and you just mix them, it becomes a mixture. And actually you can separate these stones, right? They can blue, red, green, brown, they can be different kind of stones, you can just mix them, right? And then you can separate them easily, physically, without any chemical reaction. So that is a mixture, right? So you have a lot of substance mixed together and they are not chemically joined. So, that, so you can separate them without a chemical reaction. One more example if you see is the iron and sulfur powder, they are mixed together. They can be separated without chemical reaction. You can take iron, you can take sulfur, you can just mix them. Then you can separate them without chemical reaction and that is a mixture. So in this chapter we will talk about various methods of purification of organic compound and in this case I will have mixtures of organic compounds. I will have different organic compounds when I mixed and they are not chemically joined and I will try to separate those kind of mixtures of organic compounds. So there are various methods which we will study. The first we will study the sublimation, then we will study crystallization, then we will study distillation. In distillation, we will study normal distillation, distillation under reduced pressure and steam distillation. We will also study differential extraction, fractional distillation and chromatography. So we will study all these various purification process. So the first is sublimation. So what is sublimation? Sublimation is, okay I will start with that. But sublimation is used only for sublimate substance. What is sublimate substance? See, sublimate substance are those substances which from directly from solid phase it goes to gas phase. And then that when you cool it from gas, it goes to solid. It never goes to liquid phase. These are my sublimate substance. These are my sublimate substance. Correct? Right? Or sublimable compound. So this technique is used only to separate sublimable compounds. What are sublimable compounds? These compounds from solid it directly goes to gas phase, it never goes to liquid and from gas it directly goes to solid phase. And the technique used here is what we do is we push this organic compound which we want to purify and it has to be a sublimable substance for example camphor. Right? Camphor is a organic compound which is uh, sublimable. So it is a sublimate organic compound, we, want, we, we just put impure camphor actually, camphor impure and we will heat up, what will happen this camphor which is a solid phase will convert directly to gas phase and here what we have put, we have put an asbestos sheet here, correct. So gas can pass through but solid will not be able to pass through, right, gas will be able to pass through, through as, because it's asbestos it is something like this. Right? So from this, if you see the gas will be able to pass through, but you want to pass solid, it will be trapped. Correct? Because the holes are less, holes are small. So gas will be able to pass through, but solid will not be able to pass. So the moment you heat it, this camphor or my any uh, sublimable organic compound, which is impure, will be converted to gas directly and it will go here. Correct? And here it will cool down because you don't have heat here. Maybe you can put some cooling effect here. It will cool down and here it will convert into my solid back. So this is a very simple method where you use only for 
sublevable compound and not for non sublevable compound here if you see this is my main organic compound and this may be impurity so if example if my camphor has let's suppose carbon coal in this right or some impurity iron impurity so now that iron will not evaporate right iron will be in this stage only correct only camphor or the sublevable compound will convert into gas phase directly and it will be here in this chamber this is chamber one actually this is chamber two if you see because of the asbestos now there are two chambers chamber one and chamber two so in chamber one you heat it it goes to chamber two and cools on it becomes a solid in chamber two itself so you get pure organic compound here right pure sublevable organic compound here so if you see the camphor id naphthalene benzoic acid these are the examples of my uh, sublimable organic compound which can be purified using sublimation and please it cannot be used to purify water why water because water is a non sublimable compound in fact any non sublimable compound for example sulfuric acid or iron i not you should not talk about iron because iron is not organic but there there are so many compounds which are not uh, sublimable in fact most of them are not non sublimable so you can't use this method to purify non sublimable compound Correct. Only for sublimable compound you can use this. For non-sublimable compound you can't use this sublimation method. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.